Are you using Podio to manage your business? Do you wish that your customers and vendors could interact with your Podio data without actually being in Podio? For this example, we're going to build a basic work order management mini app to let customers manage their own work orders. Let's show you how. To allow users to authenticate to your mini app, you'll need some sort of users app in Podio. We'll need a field for username, we're just going to use email address. And you need a field for password. Now there are many different authentication methods you can use, but this is the simplest, and we're going to use basic username and password for this example. If you already have a customers or leads app, you can simply use that and add a password field to it. You can use Podio workflow automation to set initial random passwords and send them to your customers via email, but that's beyond the scope of this video. Obviously, we'll also need a work orders app to contain the work orders. We'll ask the user for a summary of the job and also for a detailed description of the requirements. Most importantly, we need a relationship field linking each work order back to a customer. This is important not only because we need to know which customer each work order belongs to, but also because you don't want customers to see work orders from other customers. Now that we have the apps set up in Podio, let's go to Procfu and create a new mini-app. Give the app a title and a simple header. We can come back later and make this fancy. The start screen is for authentication. We'll specify the users app in Podio and select the username and password fields to use to authenticate users with. When someone logs in, the first thing we want to show them is a list of their current work orders. We'll create a summary screen for this and give it a header and some context. Once again, we'll specify the work orders app to use in Podio, but we'll set it to only show work orders related to the current logged in user. We'll display the results as a simple table and for now, just show the title of each job. Now we just need to link the start screen to the work orders list screen. Let's see what we have so far. Let's save with Control S, launch the app and log in as one of our customers. And on successful login, we can see all the work orders for this customer. That's a good start, but we want customers to also be able to see details of work orders as well as create new ones. Instead of having to select our work order app in Podio all over again, we'll go to the work order list screen and use a little cheat shortcut. We'll create a detail screen based on the current summary screen in one step and automatically link the two. So now we just need to give it a header and select the fields we want to show. We'll even allow the customer to see our comments and be able to add their own. To create the Create screen, we'll start by duplicating this one, change the name and heading, and set the mode to Create. To automatically link the work order to the logged in user, we'll include but hide the customer relationship field and default its value to the special token PF auth item ID. This will automatically use the logged in user's customer record item ID as the relationship field value. On submit, we'll go back to the work order list screen. We'll include a markdown link in the list screen to the create screen, 
we'll use normal markdown syntax for a link, and for the link URL, we'll use the pfscreen token with the name of the screen. Time to look at the result again. Let's save with Ctrl S and refresh the mini app page. We can now click through to the detail of any work order. We can also create new work orders. And they show up right away. And exist as you'd expect back in Podio. This completes the introduction to Proc for Mini Apps. Of course, this is just the beginning. You can add as many screens as you need and add custom HTML and CSS to style your mini apps any way you see fit. There are also code events for you to change the behaviors of your mini apps, but that's for a future video. Stay tuned.